everybody back with a new episode of agents of shield last episode well we're home most of us mag decided to stay behind to be with his daughter and uh fitz also came back you know not not willingly but ophelia is flesh and blood now but she zapped him and herself somewhere so i don't know how that happened or where they went but I'm excited to get into the fallout of everything that happened in the last few episodes. Like so many like major, major things have gone down. And uh, we've got to sort through all that while also contending with Ivanov who was, you know, attacking our, sh our plane. And what did we do about Ada? Where did she take Fitz? But I'm excited to see how they're going to wrap up this season. Only two episodes to go. With this episode being called The Return. I'm ready to sift through it all. And, and uh, see where we're at. So let's get into it. As the little puppet finally made herself into a real girl. I'm tired of talking to myself. What does that mean? She has inhuman powers now. Can we get a break please? Can we get is one that break? what it is? I guess they weren't assessing powers at Hydra as much as collecting them. Nice to see you again. Right? Actual you. It's been so long. There. It wasn't love. You are nothing now without a shield to hide behind. It's not all they're good for. Oh. So spotted the decoy right away, right? Yeah, because you're never robotic at all. <laughs> Come on. Oh, really? I'm hurt, Phil. I guess we're not as close as I thought. We're finally oh. tempted. Oh. Series oh. of events. Didn't get messy between us, did it? Oh. That's a relative term, wouldn't you say? If you can get the fire out, there's a thick black power cable that runs high along the wall to the avionics bay. I need you to tear that off the wall and drag it up here so that we can... Oh, nice. well... Okay then. Great. Now where do we plug this into? Okay. You can only see what's right in front of me. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, that was us. That was us. Yay. Way to go, Davis. Not a red shirt. Okay. <laughs> you were there. Alongside me the whole time. Allowing her horrific acts of violence to be carried out in your name. You're implying I had a choice? Oh girl. I was a slave. I'm feeling love, wonder, joy for the very first time, and I think my heart what about burst guilt? <laughs> At last, I get to make my own choices. The first thing I choose, Leopold, is you. Oh my god, stop doing that. He didn't want to come back. Who cares? You knock him over the head, you break his legs, you kick him through the exit. It was a video game. He didn't want to leave hope. He wouldn't have left her for anything. And me. He didn't remember you, Yo Yo. Even if he did. I'm so sorry. I don't think you wanna. And I'll go remind him. What? No, no, no. no. Do not. I'll go get him out myself. We have saline, all the B12 we could ever need. So we're safe from a hangover. Hmm. And epinephrine. I need to take one for the team. You'll be useless afterwards. Unconscious or unresponsive. Well, so you give me mouth to mouth. Uh. Did I make a move on you? Phil, did I try to uh, kill you? Kill me. That's yep. not. That's what happened. You that's tried. Not that's messed up. The move. Well, let's add it to the list. The entire area is sealed off, but now I can't rule out Daisy Johnson's involvement. Oh, Doctor, come on. on. Channel. Sir, how about to report that Director Jeffrey Mace's body has in fact been found? I've felt your touch before, but now I. Get to experience the ecstasy you felt. No. Each time. Do you do you have empathy? You were ruthless. I was ruthless to win the heart of the man I love. That doesn't make it better. Be. My father's son. I thought his presence is what you'd have wished for. What did you promise the Russian? What's waiting back there for my friends? I need Fitz to be angrier at her. I know he's got conflicting feelings, but let one win. 
Fuck it up. <gasps> Mom! What are you not telling me? I drank the bottle of Hague. What? You piece of... What are you done with you? <laughs> I'm scared. Okay. Agent May had a gun ready to kill me. I don't want to die. I'm afraid to die. <sighs> But, but Welcome to the human experience. Passionate. Yeah, because if, if you really believe that you are capable of love, do the right thing. Focus on empathy, not fear. Yes. My head, which you severed, is controlling many of these machines now. And Where's the head? Where it is. So do what you want to this body. Mac. Down below. We have to keep attached to the equipment so before we get. Ah! You okay? <laughs> oh my god. You gotta get in here before this rig goes down. No, I won't leave without that. Affiliate's gonna get it, I think. Okay. But what about his brain? Oh, I guess he's still attached. Oh, those are icers. I have Mac. Let's go home. Why don't we chop off her head like last time? You need a volunteer? Let's mm. take a moment and think about that, Sweeney Todd. <laughs> She's a real person now, and she... She saved Mac. What do the two of you remember of your framework lives? As much as I remember about this life. The only difference is I it know... It wasn't real. So it's like you woke up from a dream? No. Not a dream, Simmons. A life. A life. She does not but want to accept you, that. Right? She's afraid Fitz will be the same guy he was in the framework. No. She's afraid he still loves someone else. It was the best moment of my life. Well, you've been alive for 30 minutes. Do you think they'll ever be able to forgive me? No! It's me they won't forgive. No. They shouldn't. We both did things we regret. I know now watch this! You were in no, there. I'm not. I'm struggling with who I am. You know, the reason I wanted to get closer to you in the first place was to try to understand what you two felt for each other. And you, you took and her place. Gemma. And I finally do. Yeah. They better not what with this felt. shit. Past tense. Because my future with Gemma is dead. <laughs> Killed that too. And there's only room in your heart for her. <laughs> what? What? You couldn't possibly have thought. Dude. What do you mean, her? Oh, what's that? Jealousy? Listen. What about me? Gemma. No! Okay, alright. Look, calm down. Just calm down. We're just talking. This is this is a new emotion for you, I think. No! Remember, remember, remember the sensation we had with helping people earlier. Let's let's, 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 let's go back to that. I you. Well, he doesn't choose you. Tandem here, don't move. Ah, not right now. Slow down. We're not the enemy here. Let's just keep our cool. You and shut your robot mouth. <laughs> shut your robot. Right, men welded shut foot. At least the machinery in there will keep a power container. No, that's not our only power. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, she needs to die. It's never too late to start a conversation. <gasps> Evil. Girl, don't shoot. That was not us. That thing is not a you friendly. Get you out of here. No. And then the base under the oil rig fell under the sea. <laughs> you expect me to believe a word of that? Yes. We should be good here. No. She'll find us. She has the potential to be our Katya in this world. We need to stop her. Light her up. What are you, Davis? That's my man. He always has been. Man, you're the only other person that knows about the Inhumans we tested. We're like mega Inhumans. Try it. We 
Wait a minute, where was Yo-Yo during that standoff? Oh, God. Oh, Yo-Yo! We'll rebuild the world that you have grown accustomed to. Ah! Where humans are hunted. No, we're not bringing this here. It doesn't hurt that both of us are unstoppable. I want them to suffer. Make me feel something else. Oh. No. How do I have to suffer? She's sadistic. Now what? <gasps> oh, let's go! He can take him! Oh my god, Robbie! Oh my god, this is the best news of all time! Oh. Oh yeah, this would have been happening to you, wouldn't it? I'm, I'm thrilled. I couldn't be happier. We needed someone to kill the devil, and, uh... It's your Ghost Rider. <laughs> oh my God, right on time. Oh my God, that's exciting. That's so exciting. I am so hyped about that. Oh my God, this episode was a wild ride and I would have never expected it to go like this. I didn't think we were gonna delve into like the psyche of Ophelia in this way. I thought she was just gonna be someone that we, you know, had to take out and that was gonna be an immediate thing. But we had to kind of walk through her emotions and make sure that would be the right thing to do and it's the right thing to do because she isn't human she's created by the dark hole this is um a force that we have to defeat and uh you know they rope a doped us a little bit that you know making us feel like she's you know feeling all this empathy and and is going to try to do good make up for herself given this new chance but no, take one thing away from her. Take away something that she can't control. Someone else's love. And she fucking lost it. And wants to make everyone feel the way that she does. Like a little baby. Because she's brand new. And uh, um, is terrible at sorting through those emotions. And uh, is lashing out. But man, all of that lead up. I was worried. I was worried. I'll admit that that Fitz was going to be conflicted. And in a way he was, even knowing or feeling like Simmons would never forgive him and that relationship was over, he still chooses her. And uh, that was a great scene. I was a little bit like, oh, Daisy, don't watch this because I thought they would eventually like be a little affectionate. And, you know, they were intimate because they had that prior relationship, but that's not where Fitz is at. <laughs> he, he, even if he remembers that much of that life, which they really were reiterating in this episode, like that was another life, not just a dream. And, uh, even though he remembers all that, like he is back. And he re he certainly remembers who he was here. And that love for Gemma is even more pure than what he had with Ophelia in the framework. And that one out, because they actually are meant to be. And uh, she just couldn't handle it. <laughs> that flip, that switch. Oh, my God. Hilarious. Scary. Obviously horrifying, but hilarious a little bit. Um, well, it doesn't look like things are going well in the framework. This is, uh, the reaction to the resistance and everything's kind of like a flame and she's trapped there, but hopefully someone comes and rescues her yo-yo who I'm speaking about, but she, you know, this episode was a lot about like what you do for the ones you love and all that. And she knew immediately where Fitz was at uh, because she was thinking about how she felt for for Mac and she wanted to join him, which I guess I don't really have a problem with, but is that world going to survive? Like, I was always a little bit in the back of my head concerned about it because like in the same way 
Ophelia is a product of the Darkhold. So is that world. And even if you want to save it and try to make it something that can exist and work for the people that chose to be in it and are just, you know, um, organically a part of it, it may be unsustainable. Like it may be what it is, a hell dimension. And uh, I love the idea that, that it could be more than that because of the people who aren't from it, like Mac and, and now Yo-Yo, if they stay there and like make it what they want it to be, a, a better world. I love that idea, but I don't know if that's actually going to work. And the fact that we like saved Mac's body, I feel like, I don't know if that's going to stay. I don't think, he, I, I, I just have a feeling that even though he wants he chose to stay there. I don't know if it's feasible to stay there. But maybe, maybe, I don't know. Just see, but we, we technically went back to that world. We saw Yo-Yo in there. So I don't think we're done dealing with that. So we'll see how that goes. But, man, this is wild. Oh, Phil, oh, he was killing me. He wants to talk about it so badly. Um, and I love that it was like immediately addressed because like obviously he hasn't had time to like really sort through everything that happened with LMD May. But like this is his first time back with our May, which, you know, he was filling her in on stuff and just reminding me of the fact like that she has been gone for a long ass time. And, uh, you know, admitting that they drank the Hague which was a very symbolic thing because we know that was supposed to be like their drink and uh, they can have another one. Things won't slow down enough for them to actually do it though is the thing. But even when he told her, oh, you try to kill me, like she still knew something else was going on. So if they ever do actually have the chance to talk again when things relax, I think maybe eventually he will say that something happened. I need to see it though. It better not happen in the off season. Uh, they better show it. Oh my God. I love them so much. Uh, and it was funny that she like took that adrenaline or whatever, like super soldiered up kind of in the way that she did in the framework. It, it you know, it, it served that purpose, but you know, she was, uh, she was very weakened after the fact, but she was already weak. And we really needed to take on Ivanov. Like, oh my God, how many fucking are there? Uh, oh, the Robbie's on the scene. It doesn't matter. He's going to fuck it up. Oh, I'm so happy to see Robbie. Can he take care of them and stick around? I want Robbie to stay. Let him stay. I love him so much. And to have him come back is... So exciting. I could not be more excited by that fact. Ugh, exhilarating. Um, so, you know, uh, things aren't great for us publicly because Talbot, you know, went on television and said we're fugitives and we did all this and he thought we were still these androids, but we're not. And that was explained to him by Phil. I don't know. I doubt it was in 50 words or less. But uh, everything's still kind of a mess right now. But I think once it's sorted through, I think Talbot does trust Phil. So maybe we can save face in some way. I don't know, though. I, it just feels like we're always meant to like work in the shadows. So we may not be public facing anymore. As long as we're not like under a manhunt or whatever, I think we'll be good. But how do you satisfy the public? Maybe we can all like die pub like officially and just work underground. I don't know. I don't know. Man, I you know, I you know, I, I'm glad that Simmons was there to comfort Fitz, but I think they're far from out of the woods. Um, he also is dealing with how he feels about himself. And 
you know, I think she will ultimately forgive him, but I think she still has to grapple with the fact that he was capable of doing that. Which I think the show was saying anybody can. So I love the fresh perspective that it gave us on Ward, particularly for Fitz and Simmons, because he tried to kill them and they have such a storied history. But it's still completely reasonable that Simmons might feel like she needs some time to sort through all this and fits too for that matter. So I don't know if they're like just going to be like going back to living together and, and you know, the idea was like pop thrown out that maybe marriage was on the table. I don't think we're there right now. I think, I think both of them have to do some soul searching and that might have to be separately for now. But yeah, they're, this is definitely going to be a rough patch for them for sure. And I know a lot of this episode was focusing in on like Fitz and Ophelia's relationship, but I expected more with Fitz just like internalizing everything he did. So I feel like that's going to be more of a focus when things cool off and hopefully Robbie can come in and take care of her and Ivanov. And then we'll see how they end the show and what happens over the break until next season. But man, man, this was a lot. This was wild. <laughs> oh my God. I still am so gagged by her. Like what? <laughs> You're not choosing me. Wow. Wow. It's so wild. I love how like impactful their time was there because we spent many episodes in the framework and it, it's not just a dream and it will have lasting consequences we already know we lost mace you know that will never be undone but those lives were lived and those memories are sticking around so you just have to live with everything that happened I I had a feeling though with her, even when they were possibly giving her like this redemption arc, how she was justifying what she did in the framework. I wasn't cool with that shit. Everything she was saying on the beach, I'm like, mm, likely story. So I'm glad they didn't ultimately go with, oh, we've got to, you know, treat her as this new entity, this brand new human. No, it's not like that. You, if, if everybody else has got to live with what they did in the framework, so does she. Um, so yeah, the dark hold though, is that thing that you can't really overcome, whether you're Ophelia or maybe even the framework itself. I'm really curious what they're going to do with the framework and everyone inside. So yeah, this is really good. I'm so excited for the finale. I could not be happier about Robbie showing up. That was just the best thing ever. I am so excited. So uh, until next episode, thanks for watching guys. I'll be back soon.